get down, get down, get down. Get in no man's land. Watch out. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> we gotta get ready. Stay up. No! Oh, I'm jammed. And down. Alright, is it safe? Truce. We gotta kill all the bodies. You gotta get all the bodies out. There's a ceasefire until we get all the bodies. One casualty. Oh, oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. All right. Okay. World War I and the fighting. That's pretty much it. Trenches. Up over the top. Shooting and staying below. And now it's time to rest. Because sometimes a lot of the bat. Uh oh, hang on. Kitty. What's she doing? Yeah. So you can't play in no man's land like that. You'll end up a, a dead kitty. All right, so here's the deal we're going to be talking about fighting uh, and, and what happened in World War I. How they fought changed. They did what they call trench warfare. The trench warfare is in essence these tunnels, and we're gonna talk about that once you uh, listen and go through the PowerPoint presentation I did. It's a little longer, but it's everything from A to Z. Everything from A to Z, and it starts with the beginning of the war till all the way through the United States gets involved up until the point of the Armistice Day, uh-oh, Armistice Day, which is November 11th. We know that today is Veterans Day. That's what's happening here, okay? So, uh, just to give you an idea, if you look behind me, this first wall is gonna be your trenches, your, your initial trench. Now, there's gonna, now the chairs behind, there's little tunnels that people would go through, but that's the second line of defense. And when I was launching the bombs back here, the artillery, that's from way, 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 way back there. So what happened is, they would send the artillery and they would fire it over it at the enemy. And then they would have fighting and shooting with machine guns right here on the trenches. Okay. And that's, that's the essence of what fighting. Now there's a couple things that would happen. One is there'd be intense fighting. And if you got into no man land, which is where Kitty ended up, you were dead. Absolutely dead. Cause those were anywhere from 20, five yards to a mile okay for those of you that have seen wonder woman yeah that's her going through and yeah, not realistic no offense she'd gotten shot yeah, all right so if you've seen wonder woman and you see her going across the uh, the field that's world war one that's no man's land that's not gonna happen and you'll hear you'll hear other recounts of these things where soldiers were like all of a sudden, I've got all my guys next to me, and then the next, I got a few less, and all of a sudden, I'm out there by myself. And that's, that happened a lot. So that's why trench warfare became such a big deal. All right, so today's lesson, we are going to talk about the fighting, the course of the war. That's what we're talking about here. There are three videos for you to watch, very short. You know, they're, they're three and four minutes, and I think there's one that's nine minutes. Uh, the PowerPoint is long, but it's good. There's a lot of good information in there. And then, uh, and then you're, you're done, all right? April 1st, we are done. We're locking it up. We're ready to go, all right? This is much more fun when we do it with paper wads in class and we set it up on two sides, but we're going to have to do this with social distancing policies, all right? Have a great day. All right, there may be some updates to uh, Canvas. I haven't decided yet. I've got to work. They're trying to get us to change our pages a little bit. I'm gonna try not to because you guys have already been using it all year and I'd, I'd really rather not change it. If there are any changes, I will let you know. Enjoy your day.